China Sea, just days before Trump's meeting with the Chinese president in Hamburg later this week for the G20 summit, the Trump administration sent a guided missile destroyer near Triton Island in the South China Sea, Bloomberg reported, a move which may cause concern ahead of President Donald Trump's meeting with his Chinese counterpart. According to an anonymous official cited by Bloomberg, the U.S. Navy sent the destroyer USS Statham within 12 nautical miles, 22 kilometers, of Triton Island on Sunday, passing through the contested waters on the basis of innocent passage. It was the second such operation conducted by the U.S. during Donald Trump's presidency. On May 24, the U.S. Navy guided missile destroyer, the USS Dewey, came within 12 miles of the mischief reef in the Spratly Islands another disputed archipelago that lies in the southern part of the South China Sea. At that time, the Chinese Defense Ministry also sent two frigates to warn off the U.S. vessel and said that it was firmly opposed to the U.S. behavior of showing force and boosting regional militarization. The news of the U.S. ship deployment to the contested area comes just days after reports suggest China has completed construction of new missile shelters on mischief and fiery cross reefs. The sea patrol move could signal that the U.S. is displeased with China based on the extent of its efforts to pressure North Korea to curb its missile and nuclear programs. The White House has made several moves in recent weeks including announcing economic sanctions against Chinese companies with ties to North Korea. And while in recent weeks China has shown remarkable restraint in not responding, or retaliating, to U.S. escalations today Beijing finally reacted instantly and with outrage with People's Daily reporting that China deployed military vessels and warplanes to warn off the USS Tethum. According to Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Liu Kang, under the pretext of freedom of navigation, the U.S. side once again sent a military vessel into China's territorial waters off the Zisha Islands without China's approval, the spokesperson said in a statement, adding that such U.S. behavior has violated the Chinese law and relevant international law, infringed upon China's sovereignty, disrupted peace security and order of the relevant waters and put in jeopardy the facilities and personnel on the Chinese islands, and thus constitutes a serious political and military provocation. The Chinese side is dissatisfied with and opposed to the relevant behavior of the U.S. side, Liu added. Escalating matter further, China's foreign ministry also accused the U.S. of deliberately stirring up troubles in the contested waters and were in Washington to immediately stop such kind of provocative operations that violate China's sovereignty. Working together, China and ASEAN member states have cooled down and improved the situation in the Hash South China Sea. The U.S., who deliberately stirs up troubles in the South China Sea, is running in the opposite direction from countries in the region who aspire for stability, cooperation and development, Liu added. The Chinese side strongly urges the U.S. side to immediately stop such kind of provocative operations that violate China's sovereignty and threaten China's security. The Chinese side will continue to take all necessary means to defend national sovereignty and security. The statement reads, The head of U.S. Pacific Command, Admiral Harry Harris, recently criticized China's activity in the region. China is using its military and economic power to erode the rules-based international order, he said in a speech delivered on Wednesday in Brisbane during the joint U.S.-Australian military exercises. Fake islands should not be believed by real people, he added, as reported by Fox News. The Parcel Islands, of which Triton is a member, are contested by China. Taiwan and Vietnam. China has already built runways, aircraft hangars, radar sites and hardened surface-to-air missile shelters on its artificially created islands in the region, according to photos analyzed by the Washington-based Center for Strategic and International Studies. Texas. Beijing's actions have sparked concerns in Washington and the U.S. Navy, which is fiercely opposed to this Chinese initiative, has deployed additional warships in the disputed zone conducted maneuvers near China's artificial islands, and flown over them, claiming it has been done in the interest of the freedom of navigation. In response, China called Washington's involvement in the dispute the greatest threat to the region. In early June, China and the U.S. both held exercises involving air and navy forces, 
In another episode of confrontation over the disputed South China Sea, the U.S. sent two B-1B Lancer supersonic bombers to fly a 10-hour mission from Anderson Air Force Base, Guam, which was conducted in conjunction with the U.S. Navy's Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer the USS Stirrett. A day earlier, the Chinese People's Liberation Army, PLA, conducted its own air and navy exercise off Hong Kong. The patrol mission involved three helicopters and two Type 056 corvettes, the Kinzu and the Huizu, the Defense Ministry reported. Breaking news, just then, U.S. missile destroyer trespassing territorial waters serious provocation. China China said on Sunday that the U.S. missile destroyer trespassing China's territorial waters off the Zisha Islands was serious political and military provocation. Foreign Ministry spokesperson Liu Kang said in a statement released on Sunday night that China dispatched military vessels and fighter planes in response to warring off the U.S. vessel. Earlier Sunday, the missile destroyer USS Statham trespassed China's territorial waters off the Zisha Islands. The Zisha Islands are an inherent part of the Chinese territory, Liu said noting that in accordance with the law of the People's Republic of China on the territorial sea and the contiguous zone, the Chinese government promulgated the baseline of the territorial sea off the Zisha Islands in 1996. The relevant Chinese law has explicit provisions on foreign military vessels' entry into the territorial sea of China, Liu said. Under the pretext of navigation freedom, the U.S. side once again sent a military vessel into China's territorial waters off the Zisha Islands without China's approval, Liu said, stressing that its behavior has violated the Chinese law and relevant international law, infringed upon China's sovereignty, disrupted peace, security and order of the relevant waters and put in jeopardy the facilities and personnel on the Chinese islands. The behavior constitutes a serious political and military provocation. Liu said, stressing that the Chinese side is strongly dissatisfied with and firmly opposed it. Working together, China and ASEAN member states have cooled down and improved the situation in the South China Sea, according to Liu, noting that the United States, who deliberately stirs up troubles in the South China Sea, is running in the opposite direction from countries in the region who aspire for stability, cooperation and development. The Chinese side strongly urges the U.S. side to immediately stop such kind of provocative operations that violate China's sovereignty and threaten China's security, the spokesman stressed, saying the Chinese side will continue to take all necessary means to defend national sovereignty and security. U.S. vows to continue West China Sea patrols after Beijing's warning. A representative of the U.S. Department of State told Sputnik on Sunday that the U.S. actions in the South China Sea are corresponding with the international law and Washington will continue to sail and operate wherever international law allows. Earlier in the day, the Chinese Foreign Ministry voiced a protest against the U.S. guided missile destroyer USS Statham's honoring the waters off the disputed Parcel Islands, known in China as the Zisha Islands. According to Foreign Ministry's spokesman Liu Kang, the U.S. actions violated the Chinese law as well as the international law and constituted a serious political and military provocation. Moreover, China dispatched military vessels and fighter planes in response to warring off the U.S. vessel. U.S. forces operate in the Asia-Pacific region on a daily basis, including in the South China Sea. All operations are conducted in accordance with international law and demonstrate that the United States will fly, sail, and operate wherever international law allows. The department's representative said, the representative pointed out that the United States had a comprehensive freedom of navigation operations program, FINOP, aimed at challenging excessive maritime claims in order to preserve the rights, freedoms and uses of airspace and sea guaranteed for all countries. We are continuing regular FINOPs, as we have routinely done in the past and will continue to do in the future. Summaries of these operations are always reported publicly in the annual Department of Defense Freedom of Navigation report, the representative added. The South China Sea area, where the Parcel Islands are located, is a disputed region claimed by Brunei, China, Malaysia, Taiwan, the Philippines and Vietnam, 
as it is believed that it has vast energy resources. Chinese authorities claim 90% of the area and have repeatedly said that all the country's activities in the region are China's sovereign right. Earlier, Japan and Australia reiterated their calls for the U.S. to stick with its long-standing policy of conducting freedom of navigation operations in the region. In May, the USS Tui, a United States Navy-guided missile destroyer also conducted a freedom of navigation operation in the South China Sea. The ship sailed around Mischief Reef. In the Spratly Island chain, the Chinese Defense Ministry accused Washington of militarization of the South China Sea region, following the sailing of the USS Tui near the Mischief Reef. Also in May, Chinese fighter jets reportedly came within 100 feet of U.S. anti-submarine and maritime surveillance P-3 Orion aircraft over the South China Sea.